This episode of Death Battle is brought to you by Lumosity. Ninjutsu. Originally created by farmers to kill their oppressive samurai lords, the ninja has become one of the deadliest killers in history. Like Ryu Hayabusa, the ultimate dragon ninja. And Strider Hiru, the high-tech mercenary. He's with an arm boomstick. And it's our job to analyze their weapons, armor, and skills to find out who would win a death battle. His name literally meaning Dragon Falcon, Ryu Hayabusa was born into the Dragon Lineage Legacy and trained in the ways of the ninja from the moment he could crawl. How are you supposed to keep a baby in their crib when they can friggin' backflip out of it? A prodigy in the art of combat, Ryu far exceeded his clan's expectations. When he turned 18, he donned the traditional blue garb, then single-handedly defeated both the criminal cult of Nostradamus and the army of Emperor Garuda. And that was before his father gave him the dragon sword, a single-edged katana carved from the fang of a dragon, which, when combined with the mystical eye of the dragon, becomes a divine blade of ultimate power. It also has one serious security system. If someone other than a strong-willed Hayabusa attempts to wield it, the true dragon sword will feed on and eventually devour their soul. I need that kind of tech for my car! Teach those damn catty smashing raptors a lesson. In addition, Ryu wields an enormous arsenal of various weaponry, including the Lunar Staff, Falcon's Talons, a Kusari Gama, basically a chain sickle, numerous types of shurikens, bombs, bows, etc, etc, and the Eclipse Scythe a weapon forged by werewolves and quenched in the blood of living human beings. Because some people just have to do things the hard way. <laughs> the badass way, Wiz. And if that wasn't enough, he's also a magician! But instead of pulling rabbits out of a hat, it's a fire dragon! Uh, no. Though that would make one impressive party trick, Ryu channels the energies of his unusually strong spirit for mystical techniques called Ninpo. Well, this Ninpo-gician can summon fireballs, create a fighting shadow of himself, blow shit up with his own version of the Torn Sky Blast, and he even seems to be able to teleport short distances- Oh, the fuck did he just turn into a bird?! Ryu's spirit is so unnaturally strong, he can manipulate that spiritual energy to perform supernatural feats, like the bird thing, and surviving fatal wounds. Granted, this pseudo-healing factor requires a lot of time, rest, and meditation to pull off. Ryu is fast enough to deflect automatic fire, tough enough to land a 300-meter drop, and has developed a ninja sense, which anticipates danger. Like when a chick asks if she looks fat in a new outfit. And despite mastering the ninja art of stealth, he tends to just rush in sword swinging. Every. Single. Time. <laughs> hey, whatever works. He's destroyed entire armies of fiends and demons, killed the dark dragon twice somehow, won the second dead or alive tournament, avenged his father's death, and finally annihilated the devil himself. All just to get himself laid. Such selfish arrogance. I cannot allow this! His name literally meaning flying dragon, Hiru was orphaned at a very young age. He was put through the Intense Strider program, a training school for high-tech ninja mercenaries. It's so hard to find a good cyber ninja school these days. Seems whoever put him there made the right choice. Hiru far exceeded his teacher's expectations and soon became the youngest student in the organization's history to reach the highest rank of Special A-Class Strider. What does that mean? Well, even a C-Class Strider has the strength and skill of a whole team of Special Forces. So just imagine what a Special A-Class Strider can do. Oh wait, you don't have to, because we're here to tell you about it! After reaching this remarkable rank, Hiru was sent on a mission to kill a rogue Strider, who just so happened to be his own sister. Naturally pissed off at the Striders manipulating him and his sister, he immediately retired. After killing her, of course. Hiru wields a deadly light sword cipher named Falchion. It generates a blade of high-voltage plasma energy which can slice through almost anything. Today, plasma cutters can reach temperatures over 2 million degrees Celsius, cutting through steel and other metals with ease. It's basically a super long extending lightsaber. Well, kind of. It's a sword with a plasma aura that leaves a trail of death. It can also fire plasma arrows and counter projectiles. All with an incredibly satisfying ching sound. 
and that's the one. Apart from the Cypher, Hiru wields a large arsenal of sci-fi gear and weaponry, including the Varja, a teleporting device. He uses his medical tech to heal wounds, the climb sickle to, well, climb, the jump tech to jump higher. I guess they don't have a thesaurus at the ninja school. He also has a device that can cause earthquakes, shoot fire, and launch big balls of electricity. And last but not least, he has three types of cybernetic drones at his beck and call. Option A's are twin satellite bots, which shield Hiru and fire wave after wave of deadly laser discs. Option B is a Robo-Panther. It's like a giant death cat that doesn't need a litter box or scratch the shit out of your furniture. Finally, option C is a robotic hawk with bladed wings and oversized grenades. Oh, I hate birds! Now they have grenades. Hiru's speed and agility are off the charts. Fortunate since he also doesn't seem to ever use his ninja stealth skills. He's even fast enough to dodge shadow tag bullets, highly advanced ammunition designed to track supersonic targets like Striders. Basically, anti-aircraft rounds for people. He's also strong enough to slice clean through the human body with a karate chop. Hiru has somehow been in retirement for over 2,000 years, likely due to the highly advanced medicine of the future. Yet despite distancing himself from the Strider program, Hiru has been pulled out of retirement more times than John McClane. He's fought dinosaurs and giant robots, destroyed a moon-sized space station, and is so badass he considers huge flying warships mere toys. He even slew the magical creator of the world, twice. Apparently God is no match for this future ninja. All right, the combatants are set. Let's end this debate once and for all. But first, it's time for another ad from Loop. Oh, wait, it's actually a new ad. Go, Lumosity! Your brain is important. Don't let it wither and rot. Just like the rest of your body, it needs exercise to stay healthy. Oh, what? No, sorry, I spaced out. Well, then you should sign up for Lumosity, which makes brain exercise fun and simple with games. Now you're talking! It's a personalized training program with detailed summaries and stats to keep track of your progress. Over 40 million people have improved their brain power through Lumosity, and you can too. Sign up today at www.lumosity.com slash deathbattle. It's Wiz approved. I will train and fight you with my mind. But first, it's time for a death battle! This fight was very close, and Ryu's Ninpo was certainly a match for Hiru's gadgets. But Ryu's enormous arsenal was useless against the Cypher. The only weapon that could stand up to the Cypher was his true dragon sword. 
But even then, while it can cut through people like butter, Hiru does the same with his bare hands. This guy can make a wicked sandwich. Also, while we're you can deflect automatic fire, Strider can dodge personalized anti-aircraft bullets. If you consider the differences in speed, this means Hiru is at least 43% faster. Ultimately, Hiru surpasses Ryu in strength, speed, and weaponry. Looks like Strider just floored Hayabusa. The winner is Strider Hiru. Next time on Death Battle. I'll teach you to behave! Hey, got an idea for a death battle? Leave it in the comments below. And don't forget to like, subscribe, and tell your friends how right we are. Thanks for watching.